Hey Jules, welcome back for yet another video. As I told you guys in the previous video, in this video we're going to go ahead and compare the mask that I did in the first part one empties video. I asked you guys to come back and watch a preview of me compare two masks that I tried out by BioBella. One is the Promagrant Hyaluronic Acid Mask. The other is the hashtag Primer Mask. Now, if you guys have watched the part one, know that the part two will be following this video. This video right now is just to serve to compare these two masks and give you guys my thoughts and opinions on both to compare them to see which of these would be suitable for you guys to go ahead and purchase if should you decide to try them out now if you're new to my channel welcome please hit the subscribe button subscribe click the bell and once you click the bell you'll be notified of future videos okay now that we've got that out the window let's get down to business so i wanted to compare both of these masks because i received them around the same time and Okay, they weren't set to expire to 2020, but I wanted to go ahead and try them out. So I did, I used one on my own, I think just randomly one night. And then I used this one, which is the primer one, to go ahead and do part one of the video series. Well, it's not really a video series, but it's just part one and it's just a huge empties video and I didn't want to make it too, too long. So I just split the videos in half. And before I started, I prepped my face and then after I was done with all the products, I masked up with this. I'll leave that video link below so you guys can check out part one. And again, part two to those empties will follow this video. If you're looking for a really, really good moisturizing vegan free product to try out for your babies, check out the previous video, video and I'll make sure I leave that video in the description box. So the first mask is, again, both of our BioBella. The first mask is with Promogrant and Hyaluronic Acid. And that is this one right here. And one day I was just, you know, going about my morning and I decided to try this one out before I started out on my day. I believe it was on a weekend, so it pretty much um, was going to be like the mask for that weekend. I try to space my masks out and not do them as often, especially the sheet masks, as often as I used to. Because they did tend to lead to breakouts regardless of what they claim they did for the skin. So I learned to not mask up every single day, let alone, you know, well, every single week, let alone every single day. So again, this one is with Primogranate and Hyaluronic Acid. This one is to moisturize and help your skin appear smooth and firm. It is paraben-free, gluten-free, no GMOs, natural abstracts, botanical fiber. And again, this is by BioBella. So this is how the product packaging look. I can tell you one thing. I do like the fact that the packaging does come with stunning packaging. I do, I do like the fact that they do have the instructions on the back because as we all have learned, all masks are not created equal. So no matter where you are in your journey with learning skincare, makeup, if you are not a professional in said fields, you will find that a lot of times they aren't designed to be utilized the same way. And should you try to use products inappropriately, they'll lead to blemishes, breakouts, darkened skin, and so forth. So we don't want to have all that. So we're going to go ahead and follow the directions to do what they say, you know, we're supposed to do and use them as often as they say. Some uh, masks are suitable to be used every day. And even in that case, I don't really recommend, but do as you will. But I wouldn't recommend that. So, this mask says basically that um, BioBella presents a face mask made with an innovative, biodegradable, and award-winning fiber called Tencel. It is uniquely manufactured with wood from sustainable managed forests. It adheres to the face, allowing the serum to absorb in the skin, moisturizing and helping the skin appear smooth and clear, just after just one use synthetic material are simply not able to process or achieve this process so they give you what they've included in this particular mask why they included in the particular mask and what 
it is supposed to achieve. Now, I did do a beautiful uh, makeup look afterwards and I was trying out a new product so basically I wasn't using products that I would ordinarily use and I must say shockingly the product did not fail me and I did not have any weird grayish looking uh, results so I do stand behind this being a very moisturizing mask I also stand behind this actually being a mask that made my skin appear a bit more smoother upon application of my products once I had used this now this wasn't a prep mask where you use it before makeup I used it the night prior so I think it was like about that Friday I tried it out and then that next morning like I said I went in just did the basics to my face and you know started with my products and I just watched my makeup throughout the day blotted maybe a few times but even with blotting still didn't really notice a big difference in um, any discolorations because of utilizing this prior to you know utilizing my uh, makeup so Definitely think that this is makeup friendly. Think, I think that this is more so specifically suitable for those days in which you just want to do a spa at home and you just want to relax, have you a cup of tea, read a book, throw it on, or you can either, you know, take a little quick, you know, well, I think this one I had to keep it on. Yeah, 15 to 20 minutes. So this is the mask that I think you can take your little 15, 20 minute nap because it does allow you to keep it on 15 to 20 minutes. Anything longer than that, it's kind of like overdoing it. So definitely like that this mask for that. And I highly recommend. Now, they do have their deets at the back. So, they are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and they are on Pinterest as well. I did see this mask at Ulta. So, I'll be sure to leave the link if they are still available there down in the description box. So, you can go ahead and try it out and see how you like it. Again, I think it is excellent for a spa day at home. The next mask we have is again by Biobella, and this is the tea tree rose, the tea tree oil rosehip extract and vitamin C radiance primer mask. Hashtag primer mask, um, to be correct. So I really like this mask, and as it states, it's to prep the skin for a flawless makeup application, just like the uh, previous one. It is paraben free, gluten free, and it has no GMOs. It does say that it is also with natural extracts, and it is a bio uh, bionic fiber mask. Again, by Biobella. So the reason why I wanted to compare these masks was for three reasons and the first reason being they're by the same brand two they're both masks and three i just kind of wanted to see what would be the difference if i used them before and after makeup since one is specifically to be used before makeup did i see a big difference did i not see a big difference and which did i recommend so i gave you the deets on this we're going ahead and go into this one. so just like the first one it does have beautiful packaging i do like the fact that they do emphasize that this is a primer design mask to be utilized before you apply your makeup so love that I think that, again, they have the most stunning packaging as far as masks are concerned. You already know that it is also available in Ulta Beauty. I do like, as well as the first one, this one does give you the deets on the back with regards to how to use this. Now, in comparison to this one, this one you are only allotted to use it for five minutes or less. Again, you are prepping your face um, for makeup application. They do not contain the same ingredients. This mask you're using is used with a unique botanic fiber called Tercel, which is designed as a new primer sheet mask that boosts facial uh, texture, moisturizes pores, and even skin tone while prepping skin for a flawless makeup application. In just five minutes, our nutrient-rich serum made with tea tree oil, rosehip extract, vitamin C, among others, will make the skin look more smoother, more hydrating, with a more glow within, and you can get your glam on with this mask. Now, one thing I could say about this mask that I did not see in this mask was this one gave my skin a kind of almost like a, it was the most beautiful look. And I think it was because of the oils. I want to say it was a... It was a definitely a natural look that it gave me, but it was really, 
it, it made the makeup look so pretty and flawless. And I use this mask, this application to show you guys that even after you do your makeup, regardless of, and then trying to do another application and not using another mask, I still kind of feel like the makeup still looks, you know, fairly decent. Would I recommend either one of these masks before makeup? I definitely would recommend the primer before makeup. I, again, like I said, highly recommend this only for like relaxed days. But if you had to use it before makeup, you'll come out with stunning makeup. It's equally. But the way your makeup would look throughout the day, and if you use this primer mask, I think is depending on the formula now. I didn't go in with a drugstore foundation, so I'm going to make sure I give you guys an honest my honest opinion. I did not go in with a uh, low-end uh, foundation. I believe using the Too Faced. So, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation mixed with a little bit of the NYX because it has, excuse me, it has that max, that matte consistency, whereas Too Faced is more so of a, um, a dewy matte, I think it is. But I kind of wanted it to have like a, a different look. So, in conjunction with me blending some foundation, I think that, well, yeah, I did tell, I could tell the difference um, when I did use this mask as compared to just going about my normal pre-step application before makeup. So definitely highly recommend this. I think that you'll have flawless makeup throughout the day. Now, whether or not your makeup lasts more than eight hours, we're not going to evaluate that because I did not keep it on more than eight hours, nor do I think I ever keep makeup on more than eight hours. However, if should you have to keep it on for more than eight hours, I think you will probably pretty much have to just blot here and there. But I think you should, depending on if you use waterproof makeup or not, you may or may not have to um, touch up or, or retouch your makeup. But I definitely felt like this product stood its test and I really think that this is an impeccable mask to be utilized before your makeup and I'm happy that I went ahead and tested it out tried it and I had something that was in the same class with it wasn't actually designed to be used with uh or before makeup but definitely can see the comparison with the brand with the product so you'll see whether or not you have to spend the money on a different type of mask and wear it less because some people like to dabble in their mask a little bit longer like myself i don't really like the five minute less or less ones but because this one is specifically designed to be used before makeup i would purchase it but as far as like a spa day i would be looking for something like this that's a bit more longer to wear as far as the mask is concerned highly recommend both of them just recommend this one you know whenever you're doing your pre-application on uh, makeup but definitely wouldn't think that it would be something that I would use just to mask up on a regular day. Definitely watch out, guys, for which types of masks that you're applying on your skin. Know what they're for. Know how they're used. I think BioBella is an awesome product. This packaging, again, is super stunning, and I highly recommend all of their products. Again, they are available in Ulta. I'm going to make sure that these particular ones are still available. If not, I'll try to link something that is as close to these as I possibly can below so that you guys can go ahead and test out just the brand itself because I plan to purchase these in the future and probably bring you guys a haul with these. I definitely like these and again, like I said, I highly recommend. So that's my review on that. I hope you guys had a wonderful uh, weekend or Mother's Day, all the holidays that have just passed and thank you so much for coming back and viewing yet another video with me again to follow this video will be part two of my empties and i hope you guys stay tuned to watch that one so until the next video i hope you guys stay beautiful and stay glammed up bye